The MCU gets on my nerves. You know, I have been uh, kind of on the fence about making this uh, commentary. And I'm going to make a bunch of other commentaries based on the, around the subject matter. But uh, I hate War Machine. Uh, the current iteration of him on screen is played by Don Cheadle. He is uh, the definition of beta and uh, not about that superhero life, as he likes to say. You know, I just find it, uh, I find his character difficult to watch as a black male, a straight black man, actually. Um, you know, originally the character is played by Terrence Howard. And uh, Terrence Howard is decidedly uh, more masculine than Don Cheadle, it would, it would seem. And uh, I think that's a shame because Don Cheadle is a good actor when he wants to be, when he has something to do. And uh, basically he's just been like a, a cipher in all of these movies that he's appeared as the character. And when you saw Terrence Howard, you know he was, you know, he, he was a man of action. He looked like a military man. And you take and compare that to Don Cheadle, uh, you know, I ain't going to talk about his height or nothing, but, you know, he just doesn't look intimidating. He doesn't look like a military man, nor does he behave like one. He acts more like a, a custodian, a janitor, a butler, you know, a servant, a manservant to, uh, the MCU is Tony Stark, and that's what I find problematic. He, they never did shit to make him look tough or badass, you know. It's just he's just there, you know. And a part of that is just the generic nature of the movies as they progressed, you know. But largely in part, it was just uh, checking a box, you know. I'm not accusing Kevin Feige of anything. You know, he's done a terrific job at the first arc of movies, ending with uh, Endgame, but the racism is there, you know. Man, I fucking hate it, man. I've been thinking about it for a long time, especially since I saw Iron Man 3, and they didn't do shit with him in Iron Man 3, and they made him look like an asshole. I mean, they made him look so beta that uh, there's a scene where they're trying to get him out of his armor, and this guy starts heating up the armor, so he ejects himself from the armor, and the guy sh is a mutant, and he fires, uh, he shoots fire out of his mouth, because he's gonna run up some stairs, and uh, Don Cheadle, uh, you know, Don Cheadle stops and he's like, "Oh, you you breathe fire. Okay, I, I quit. I, I'm I'm I surrender. You know, I guess it's supposed to be funny or something." Shane Black wrote this bullshit, by the way, and it makes me side eye him. You know, it's just another asshole. He's a fucking hack. You know, for this shit and other egregious things that he's written in genre. And um, well, you know, he's not. You know, he's not intimidating. He's not military. And he's a bit, he's a, he's a manservant to uh, Tony Stark and a butler. And, and all of the characters treat him like that, too. No one seems to take him serious in those movies. You know, I don't even know if, if I ever saw Captain America talk to uh, War Machine. I don't think I ever saw Captain America re talk to him or anything. Or even, you know, I have to go back and look, but I'm pretty sure Captain America would never say shit to him. And then uh, when you saw Civil War, and you realize just how racist the shit was, right? Because basically what War Machine is wearing is a, one, a, a Mark II armor. And uh, like the Vision shoots, the Vision accidentally f injures him by hitting him with a, a laser while he's in mid-flight. And he just falls and crashes and gets paralyzed from the waist down, you know, <laughs> from the waist down. How ironic, right? So he can't, he can't have sex or nothing to walk. And they have to emasculate the black man. It's not enough that they made him a short hobbit, a short black hobbit, but they emasculated him. Then when you think about it, it's like, oh, that's an Iron Man armor. Why is it, doesn't it have a parachute in it or emergency gear like an airbag or some kind of stopgap, you know? You know, would Tony fly around in that shit? You know, he was flying around in before when he was, when he was uh, in, in the first Iron Man movie, he was flying around in that. And, I, you know, I, I thought maybe the armor he was wearing in Civil War was like an upgraded version of armor. But apparently it's the same fucking armor from that first Iron Man movie. And then just even the fact, uh, you know, John Favreau did the sequel, you, you know, that, that, that was total bullshit. When he did the sequel, he had War Machine steal the fucking armor. He just stole the armor and took it to the fucking military and shit, to, to his white masters. 
and delivered it there. And it's like really horrible CGI because, you know, Don Cheadle's like 5'2 or something, you know, if even that. I mean, he's a little taller. I don't want to disrespect the man. But they, they like just pasted his face on a really bad CGI model. I thought it was shit. They just rushed that movie out. But, uh, you know, Civil War it was like, okay, Don, Don Cheadle. You know, sorry, I can't say it. James Worlds, you know, Beta James Rhodes falls from, a, I don't know, a couple hundred feet in the air, I guess, and uh, is injured. And then, you know, because the uh, Vision was trying to shoot the other manservant, the Falcon. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, War Machine crashes and burns and shit. And then the Falcon lands and he's walking and he, Tony Stark is holding his, you know, roadie with, with a little blood coming out of his nose. But he'd probably be more fucked up than that. He should have been dead from that height that he, that he fell down in. Yeah, yeah, Falcon, the other man servant, is like, I'm sorry, Tony. And Tony looks at him and shoots his ass. But it just felt like he's he's shooting him because uh, he's like, you you shot my black friend, Cap. Now I shoot your black friend. So really, Civil War is like, the, the casualties was the two black coons, you know, the two the two uh, man servants, you know, the two toadies of the, of the main white characters. Now I get I get uh, online, I get the MCU's Tony Stark crediting that he actually was seen, uh, you know, doing shit with, you know, with, with Rhodey, you know, but he's, he's mostly a comic relief of Street Man and Tony Stark's snarky bullshit, which got tired after three movies. You know, they actually had to do a course correction with Civil War to make him likable. They did a pretty good job with that, but they never did anything with, um, they never did anything with James Rhodes, MCU version of shit. You know, I almost wish they would have brought back Terrence Howard some kind of way. You know, but Terrence Howard ended up in fucking TV. Now he's retired and they say he's crazy, but who knows? It's a bunch of bullshit. So I got really tired of the shit. I just started really thinking about it when I saw uh, Avengers Infinity War. No, no, it was Avengers uh, Endgame. That's what made me upset. I was watching it and uh, they had this plan to do a time heist. There's anybody who hasn't seen a movie, I'll just let you know. Spoiler. They do a time heist to steal the stones before Thanos can get them. And, you know, uh, they go, they're splitting teams to go out the individual stones, obviously. It's a heist. And uh, Rhodey and Black Widow and Jeremy Renner are uh, in, in a team, and uh, Nebula from Guardians of the Galaxy. They're, they're all together. And <laughs> they, they go to this, the planet to get the Guardians, the Power Stone, I think it is. They go to get this power stone, and uh, when they land on a planet, you see um, Black Widow and Hawkeye conversing. And uh, while they're talking, you see Hawkeye look over and give a disparaging look, and it, they show what he's looking at. And you see Rhodey uh, working to lower like a pod, a spaceship pod down. And and they fucking Hawkeye's like, "Hey, can you hurry it up, guys? Can you hurry it up?" And then. Then, Rome, then, then the uh, beta, Rome mach- beta war machine turns around and he's like, hey, that's that's really not helping. You know, that's really not helping, like, snap your fingers and stuff at me. And uh, Hawkeye is very dismissive. Like, the shittiest character in the Avengers. Nobody gives a fuck about Hawkeye or his bullshit. Nobody cares about Hawkeye. He had to shoehorn him in his movies, but he still has status above beta fucking war machine who's been in uh, more movies than fucking Hawkeye and shit. And you just see him like he just has a shitty look. It made me hate Jeremy Renner because I feel like that was like his true racism just spilling through the character and shit. And I thought it was shit, you know. I mean, they, they probably had quality control guys on there, but I don't think they have like a racism guy who says uh, that, that looks kind of shitty, you know. Even I, me looking at it, you know, you know, without that filter, it just reads wrong. It's just like, man, he's a dick. Hawkeye is a goddamn dick. And, and it doesn't read as he's a... Being that he's that way because of his grief, it's just reasons he doesn't even see the guy as as you know equal. Even though you know theoretically, War Machine's wearing the armor, he could just fuck Hawkeye's ass up. He could just blow the shit out of Hawkeye, you know. And then they have him talking to Captain Marvel, you know, and he's like, "Hey, I've been about that superhero life. Where you been?" I'm like, "Where you been about no superhero life? They never gave War Machine no fucking movie or nothing. They never did shit. They promised to do that with Terrence Howard." But they, they, when uh, Don Cheeto came out, they're like, fuck that shit. 
They ain't even add War Machine, as far as I know. They haven't even added War Machine to the Falcon and the Winter Soldier thing. You think he'd be in that? Because they're kind of a military characters, you know. They're like betweeners, you know. They're like, uh, you know, they don't have powers or nothing, but they're like, you know, other than Winter Soldier probably, but they don't have powers. They're just like, you know, you know, human level characters with tech technology. But uh, you know, I just get my two cents on that one. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover a couple other characters across uh, media. Where I feel this is apparent, this is a, this racism and shit, this backhanded racism of inclusion and uh, supposed diversity. You know, I believe in those things and shit, but not at the not at the cost of dignity. So, uh, MCU, you get a big thumbs down, and you can kiss my ass.